Well, hey, everybody. Um, I want to just spend a few minutes talking about what we hope to do as we continue to grow our content strategy. Content being all the stuff we focus and feature on our blog, on our website, and uh, things that people can watch, things people can listen to, things that people can download. But before we get into that, just a quick question to think about is what is the point in having a website anyways? And and this is this may seem simple, but it really does determine everything we do. We need to decide what the point of our website is. Is the point of our website to, uh, are we doing it because everybody else has one? Are we doing it uh, because it's just how you, what you're supposed to do now? Are we doing it to talk to people who already know about us and uh, tell them about what we're doing? Or is it for people who are not yet interested in us, but they want to know more? Now, when you think of this, this is everyone in the world, okay? Everyone, whether they know about us or they don't know about us, they fall somewhere in this. They are, they could be a stranger. They've never heard of Fresh Expressions. They could be a customer. They could be a fan. Be a tribe member, and you kind of move that way. Stranger, not knowing about us, hopefully they like what they see, they become a fan. Uh, they like what they see even more. Some of those become customers, and some of those people start to talk about us, start to tell their friends, and, and start to really help us grow. Maybe they donate to the overall cost, and we would call those people tribe members. I would say that our goal is to convert strangers into fans, fans into customers, and customers into tribe members. So think again about who is coming to the website. Now, right now, it's kind of a big question that we don't know really a total answer to. We know that the numbers have grown. We know that we have more and more people every month coming. And we know that a small percentage of those people are subscribing to our newsletter, so we kind of build a relationship with them. And uh, we can kind of guess from people that they that t we talk to who have heard about it. But when we think about what should actually be on our website, what the content is, we need to think about this question, the who. And we'll come back to that. Now, once you've decided who the website is for and, and what you're going to talk about, the second thing you have to think about is why should people trust us? What is it that we have to offer them and wh why are we trustworthy? What... What makes us special? What makes us important enough to get their attention, their time, maybe uh, even their money? We need to make sure that what we present on our website is always bolstering our claims so that people know they can trust us. Then, once they've come to our website, we don't want them to just click around and then leave. We want them to do something. And this is something we can really grow in. We need to decide what is it that we want people to do when they come to our website. Um, now, right now, we have the big obvious one. They can add themselves to our mailing list. And uh, occasionally, there are events, and we can do a better job of talking about that. But what is it that we want to do? What is that action that is going to help them move from stranger to fan to customer to tribe member. So again, the questions are, who is coming to the website? Why should they trust us? What should they do next? But really, the most important of all of those questions, I believe, is that first one. Who? Who are we talking to? Because the who determines everything. The who determines the language that we use. The who determines what we write about. The who determines who we want featured on our podcasts or our videos. And the question is, who is our who? Now, right now, if you took a complete stranger who had no relationship with Fresh Expressions and you introduced them to the website, what would they say? Would they understand what they're talking about? Why does that matter? Well, who is our who? Currently, 
Our website is basically set up for people who have some understanding of fresh expressions. And we need to ask ourselves, is that our audience? Is that the people we care most about? If so, great. How can we write more and better content for them? But if our content is aimed at people who have never encountered us before, who don't know uh, what Fresh Expressions is all about, then we need to write things for people who have never been there before. So the first thing we have to decide is who is our who. Now, it doesn't have to be just one person, but maybe think of two or three types of people that might encounter our website. Now, this could be a pastor, this could be a a uh, existing pioneer leader or a future possible pioneering leader, maybe a, a seminary or denominational executive. So think about like a specific person. And when you have that specific person in mind, the next question you need to ask is, what does that person care about? What is the thing that that person, uh, it, it keeps them up at night? What, what do they get excited about? Who do they read? Uh, what movies do they go to see? Try to flush out your who as much as possible. And then, here's where it comes down. We want to create content that is not just written with a who in mind, but is written with their problems in mind. Remember, we want to show them that we're trustworthy. And one of the best ways we can do that is by solving their problems. Once we have a specific who in mind, we need to say, what is the problem we can help them solve? This will determine all of the content we create. We decide who we're talking to, what they care about, and what the problem is they want us to solve. So when we have our call soon, I hope we can talk about this, and I hope that you bring with you a specific person in mind. Have a specific who, have a specific uh, idea of who that person is and what they care about, and finally, have a specific idea of the problems that we're all going to solve, help them solve. I'm excited to talk about this, and I'm excited to see how we can continue to develop their content strategy for fresh expressions.